Hey loonies, welcome back to another video. So today is gonna be a sh very short video. I just wanted to provide some information for you guys um, about maybe what you should keep on your dog in case of one, an emergency, or two, an issue pops up with access for some reason. You have this documentation that you are not required to show, but if it'll get you into where you need to be going, you can pull this out if you want to. And again, remember you don't have to. So hang around here real quick and I'll show you what we got. Okay, so in this bag here, I have several different things and I just wanted to show you guys in case you wanted to put together a little something like this to keep in your dog's vest pocket or maybe in the bag you carry, like a backpack or something like that. So um, obviously this is just a sandwich baggie. It's small enough, it'll fit in most of her vest pockets. And I'm just gonna go over um, what I have in here and why it's in here real quick. Okay, so let me back up a little bit here. So here's my baggie. Um, the first thing on top is actually um, my uh, veterinarian's information. Um, it's just a business card. It has the name of her vet on there. I actually need to circle which one is hers or put a star next to it. Um, always good to have because then it's right there and if there's an issue for some reason, um, you know, you can have them hand them the card and say here's the veterinarian's number if there's a question about shots like say you're traveling or something like that and there's questions on the documentation you could go ahead and hand them this and be like here call my vet if they needed to do that okay so the next thing i have in here is basically exactly what it says on there my dog's health um, and id records this is a cool little um, book that i got at PetSmart. and i want to say it was about five dollars um, and you can put in um, your dog's information. I have that she's a service dog with her name. Down here at the bottom is her um, chip number. Um, and then it's your personal information with the dog's name, um, in case of emergency contact, your vet information, um, her uh, statistical information, like what breed she is, her birth date, things like that, where she came from, um, you know, her color, things like that, just a description of, her dog, of your dog. Um, then it goes on for fecal examinations and dewormings. You can put that in here. I have that information. Heartworm screenings and prevention. I have that information, when she had it done, what she received. Um, immunization records, all her shot records. Uh, what she received on what date. Um, this is going all the way back to 2018 that I have that. Um, so there's several pages for immunizations throughout their life. Then any history of medical conditions, I have her MD um, R1 mutation on there. Um, and then any um, hospitalizations or uh, procedures that were done, like what she was fixed, you know, things like that, when and where. Um, and then you, there's a spot for uh, what food they eat and how much, um, a place to put their weights for tracking their weight. You know, it's just things like that. I'm not gonna go on because it just keeps going. So this is very handy to have. Um, I recommend getting one. You can find them at PetSmart, usually up by the registers. Okay, so the next thing I have in here, um, I have um, two notes. Uh, I have her doctor's notes. I'm not gonna open it up and show that information. And then I have a note from my therapist, well, my psychiatrist, as well, um, both talk about Luna and why I need her and what she's basically for. So that's always good to have on you. Um, then I have uh, her rabies certificate here and her current shot records uh, all in one. So that's always good to have. Um, and then I also, because she has um, a condition called MDR1, which is just a gene mutation where she's sensitive to certain drugs. It doesn't affect her health in any way. Um, she just has drug sensitivities. So um, then I have information on that too, in case someone is not familiar with it or a veterinarian is not familiar with it in the case of an emergency. This information is in here so they know that they need to give her medications, certain medications at lower doses so it doesn't um, affect her neurologically. 
So that's it, loonies. That's all I have in um, our little bag here. I'm just gonna get all this um, packed back up and put away. And I recommend you guys doing something similar to this just so you have that information just in case if an emergency situation arises or happens, then you have all this information in one place in their vest pocket. Um, you can even put a, uh, a patch on that side that says emergency information inside if you needed, um, you know, any, anything along those lines. With Luna's current vest, this goes in the pocket that is on the back of her vest. It's a third pocket and it fits perfectly in there. And that's where we, we keep uh, that information. So if you guys have any questions about this, go ahead and comment down below. I'll do my best to answer them for you. Otherwise, thanks so much for joining us today. You guys have an awesome day and we'll see you soon.